welcome to Tuner Tips by Todd Herbert. In front of us we have the X-Star X2. This is the new model. This is a fast charger with an LCD display for lithium ion and nickel metal hydride batteries. I bought this charger off Amazon for $23.99 and here it is. I'm very impressed with the quality and I'm happy to show this one off. X2 fast charging, all about 2 amps. Beautiful. There's a picture of it. On the side here it shows different battery types it can charge. I recommend the 16340s and above because this charger defaults to 1 amp on lithium ion batteries. Going to the nickel metal hydrides, you can see what it covers there. Again, I recommend double A's and above because when you put those in, it charges at a half an amp. You don't want to be charging these smaller batteries at a half an amp typically. Um, note it can charge the 2700s and the 21700s protected cells. Those are very long batteries and this can accommodate it. Not bad. On the back of the box, got some information there. Um, some bullet points, zero volt activation. My viewers say this works really well on the XTAR branded chargers. Glad to know that. Uh, here we have the three stage charging. Uh, let's see, current buffering, important. Uh, reverse polarity, short circuit, overcharge, overheat protection, nice. Made of flame retardant material, that's good. <laughs> and over here we have an anti counterfeiting measure. Scratch it off, there's a number, and you can go to the website to see if you have a genuine product. So there's the box. I took everything out. Let's see what we get in the box. We're greeted with an AC cord of high quality. This is great because you can plug and play. That is important to me. I don't have to buy anything extra. I have what I need. I can start charging right away with my charger. And it's a pretty robust cord. It's not some cheesy one. So there you are. Um, next we have the manual, which is over to my left. The X2 fast charging manual. Now I'll open it up just for posterity. But I'll go over most of these features as we talk about the charger. Again, it's all about the 2 amp deal, which is awesome, and I'll talk about that. There's some more of the battery types again, which was on the box. A lot of this information was on the box. There's the operation. Again, you can pause and read if you need to. Shows you how that zero volt activation function works. I do think that's pretty neat. Warranty. Um, they give you a 12 month for repair. Not bad. And they got an anti-fake measure. Talk about that, I just told you. And they got a warning there. So read that, definitely. <laughs> okay, so that's it for that. Let's get to the charger. Here we go. I'm gonna zoom on down and do some dimensions here. Get an idea how big this is. Uh, so we're three inches wide. We are five and a half inches long, and we have a depth of one and a half inches. Still, it's fairly portable. I like it. When I'm holding this, I feel that most of the weight is towards the top. That kind of makes sense with that screen. So let's go ahead and do a little size comparison. I just reviewed the MC4S. Here you go. This is $13.99. A nice peak charger with no fancy displays. It takes a Type-C input. Um, does fairly well. I like it. Uh, but when you pay an extra 10 bucks, you're only getting two bays where you're getting the ability to charge one cell at two amps that this does not do. Plus you get premium springs. This is really nice. These are nice and smooth. These are a little tighter, just a little cheaper feeling. So you're getting definitely a premium charger when you buy this. And the fact you can charge 21700 cells that are protected, that this can't. You can see that the battery bay, this looks like this can accommodate the longer battery. There you go. So there's that. We have Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He loves X2s from China land. There you go. Yeah, not bad. Loving this brand. I mean, I'm glad you guys mentioned it. It is awesome charger. Um, oh, of course, I can show you my uh, XH data because I'll be using this charger with this radio because this has the 18650s and this has the ability to charge right there, DC input, but it doesn't charge in an amp, doesn't charge at two amps. So I can take my higher, the premium cells I've been buying, toss them in here and charge them at two amps with no problem. A lot of those cells, if you look them up, can handle up to 3 amps of charge rate. Typically, 1 amp is safe, but 2 amps in a hurry is not going to hurt it. So there you go. And then, uh, I think we're done with the size comparison. Let's go ahead and talk about features of the X2. Yes. Yeah, so uh, let's go to the back of it. You'll see the AC input. There's also the DC input there. You can do 5 volts in at 2.1 amps. So you can do a portable charger while you're in the auto or an RV on your way to wherever you're going, to your de-expedition. That's awesome. I want to do one of those one day. That'd be cool. You take your shortwave radios and see what you can hear. Um, so you can see the housing. It's pretty well made. Um, I'm holding this. I feel that it's quality. It doesn't feel chintzy whatsoever. That's a good thing. 
Um, okay, at the front we have the display. Now the display is really cool. When I plug this in, you'll get to see this. Um, it will show the charge rate, capacity, voltage, battery type, and percentage complete. It's not bad. Quite a bit of information. Uh, here we have our two cells that can accommodate all those different battery widths and lengths. If you look here, if I can get that into focus, um, the one uh, base is 2 amp. Right there it says 2 amp, and it says 1 amp. So if you put one battery in this side and the left side, it'll charge at 2 amps if it's lithium ion. If you use this side, it just charges at 1 amp. That's kind of nice, you have options. Um, also, if you put just two uh, nickel metal hydride batteries in, it automatically senses to go to a half amp. Again, very nice. Um, got these little side grips where you can grab the batteries and pull them out. Loving that too. So sides, okay, in the back, it's got a little vented area here, and it goes over the inputs and the type of batteries it can charge, in case you forgot. And it's got little rubber feet too. Nice sign of quality. Loving it. So you're getting your money's worth on this one for sure. So let's go ahead and undo that cord. I'll show you some battery types that can charge. And then uh, we'll do some final thoughts. So let me go ahead and it's got a little Velcro on the cord, which I find nice. And I'm just going to undo this cord behind the camera. I'm just going to keep talking so you know I'm moving around back here. <laughs> We're probably going to knock some things over. Here we go. Plug it in. And it should go right to the standby mode. Okay. Now I can, I think on the camera it might be a little bright, so I can turn it down, I think, by hitting this. I'm trying to think what that does. Okay, it turns it on or turns it off. So if I press and hold this, it turns it off. Um, then you can't really read anything. And you can, I think, tap it to turn it back on. So I think it'll be on high for a little bit, then it dims. So, but what you can see here, if I get that into focus, is it's showing me um, there's your uh, capacity, your percentage to completion, your voltage, your charge rate. So we'll go ahead and, um, and I think there's battery type. Is there battery type? I think it's over here. Yeah, there it is. I could barely make it out on here. So yeah, it says, it says nickel metal hydride and lithium ion. So let's go ahead and put some batteries in. Um, so battery types, you guys probably know this already, but I'm going to go over them again. Um, let's go over 18650s. These are very popular for flashlights, like um, say this dive light here. Um, here we go. This takes an 18650. There's no USB port to it. I have to use a fast charger to charge the battery in this light. Um, so this light can take all three types, which is nice. And this charger can charge all three types. And I'll show you that. So the three types are this. The flat top, 18650, which are unprotected. Okay. Here's the Panasonic 18650A. I think, what is it? Somebody put a sticker, 3100. Okay. Over here, we have the XH data that comes with the D808. This is a simple 2000 milliamp hour, so this is definitely an upgrade. Um, but you can see it's this one's protected. Or sorry, not protected. It's got a button top, unprotected, to give you an idea. And, and then uh, XSTAR has their own branded battery, which is a protected cell, 18650, which is really nicely made. It's got a brass bottom. It's got the circuitry. It's got the uh, anti-shorting bar. I can feel that there's a a bar here, right there, you can see the bar. So a nice battery, pretty impressed with it. I've been using these, these uh, work really well. So if you're looking for a branded battery, I've been using the Orbtronics and they're decent in the States, but if you get XTAR, you're not in the States, a good battery, I'd recommend it. So there you are, there's the three types. So we're gonna charge the flat top since that's most people wanna see charged. So we're gonna throw this flat top in the, well, actually I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna show you the Orbtronic 2650, this bad boy. Protected cell, this can charge from 1 amp to 3 amps, which is great. You're going to want that on a high capacity cell. The reason why I have one of these is because I have this bad boy. <laughs> um, this is a, you've seen this one I think in my reviews, the Tri-LED 26650 flashlight. It has a USB charging port, but again, charges like a half amp. Uh, you're going to want something that charges this bad boy a little quicker. You can go 2 amps on this, and I'll show you that. So let's put it in. Slide this back. This is really easy to put in. And light up here. You can see, bring it up. It's at 60%. It says lithium ion. There's your voltage is charging at 3.95, or that's the voltage it's at. It's charging at 2 amps. There you are. And now if I put another battery in, like I say, I put in this uh, unprotected 18650, we should see the volt or the uh, amps drop. So it dropped to one amp because you can only charge a total of two amps on this charger. So if you're charging two cells at a time like this, 
you're gonna get one amp for each bay. That's how that works. If I take this battery out, this will stay at one amp. And you can see that if it's staying at one amp right there on the display. If I can just bring them to show you. It's really bright. You can definitely see that in the dark. Um, and now let's go ahead and just pop in a, uh, got a Antelope Pro here. These are uh, nickel metal hydride, high capacity. Um, so we'll just pop one of these cells in and it should go right to 500. Here we go. Doing this on camera is always fun. And it should say type. It's recognizing it there. Nickel metal hydride, half amp, and the voltage it's at. So you can do different type at the same time. I find that very nice. If you had, whoops, the big bad boy knocked it over. <laughs> Things weighs a ton. If you had this big bad boy in here at going two amps and you put the little, this little guy in here, it's going to charge at one and a half amps. It's going to go one amp to here and then half amp here. So that's going to work. It's not going to go one and a half. That'd be kind of cool if it did, but it doesn't do that. But there you go. So that shows you how this works. Pretty simple setup. Well, you can take this back out. <laughs> this, this guy keeps falling. <laughs> um, let's see. I can put my XH data in there. Why not? Unprotected button top. Get that one charging in an amp. And these guys are going to rock away. So there it is. The X-Star X2. You know, real simple charger. Uh, quite the recommendation for 24 bucks. You're ready to go. Um, I know there's, I've reviewed the other brands out there. The was it the Lee 500, um, where it has a display down here. It, that's a good charger, um, but I still find myself just using two cells at a time on that charger. And then I have to select all the different currents, and I find myself doing the same currents over and over. And here, I have to think about it. I just put them in. I know these cells can handle an amp charge, and I know I'm going to get them charged fast. So at wherever bays I put them in, I know what it's going to charge at. There's no fuss, and I like that a lot about this charger. Um, simple, compact, that's the key here, the two cell chargers. Some people think, why have a two cell charger? The reason is compact and of course, high, amp, high output, the two amp output. So there it is, the X2. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a big like if you did. Ah, finally dimmed. <laughs> now, you can, now you can read it. So there you go. Let's look at that. Um, there's our capacities, there's the uh, current, there's the voltages, and there's the percentage complete. Oops, bumping it in there. This battery's pretty dead. 20%. Well, you can tell by the voltage, it's going by the voltage there. Pretty cool. Alrighty, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, give me a big like. You guys are the best. If you like XTAR products and you want to see me review more, just uh, hit subscribe at the bell icon. And, of course, comment below and tell me I want to see more. <laughs> and, of course, comment below what you think about the X2, the new one. Okay, they must have been an older one um, that charged, uh, I'm guessing, at like one amp on each and didn't have a two amp option. Uh, this has a two amp option. The plug-in is really nice, the AC cord. I'm enjoying that. Um, it's just nice to have that ready to go. Um, no moss, no fuss. <laughs> Gotta love that. And then my color changes with that blue. Let me bring my Iron Man back in. That always helps color balance it. Plus, he likes these chargers. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.